we are looking green at the top on day two because it's not green but it's green compared to how it's going to get right so day two things start happening right so the schools are closed obviously they can't be letting kids come in school no one can get them to school anyway there's cash only atms and cash machines are down and uh and uh yeah good shout noel marie hit the likey wikey buttony wasn't he <laughs> appreciate that Definitely need to buy chlorine tabs, says Robert. Berkey filter as well. See, Amphid here, if I wake up at 9.40 and no electricity, it means I can have a lie-in at least until 11 o'clock. But, but definitely fill up your bath with water first and unplug all your stuff. <laughs> so your schools are closed. It's cash only because, of course, your ATMs aren't going to be working and cash machines are going to be down. Stores are going to have limited stock, if any, by day two. Uh, if it was anything to go by situations, I've been around a while before. Uh, roads are going to be gridlocked. People have been abandoning abandoning their cars where they've run out of fuel. There's going to be accidents and, and, and crashes. Um, bender fenders all over the place because of, obviously, don't forget, day number one, all the traffic lights stopped working. Um, and other things that people rely on for smooth moving traffic and things, right? Um so yeah, we got the stores limited stock, roads are gridlocked, we've got air travel becomes cancelled, so the last flights that were rocking around overnight during the day that were already in the air, they wouldn't be taking any new flights off. Um, so yeah, you got that, so wherever you are is where you are, and the reason I use the flight air travel cancelled is you happen to be on vacation at the time, right? <laughs> if you happen to be on holiday, that's a whole bad look again, isn't it? So CCTV is off, so crime's going to be up, right? So all the CCTV camera systems, most of the battery bank systems on those are like good for like at least maximum 12 to 24 hours. So this is day two, don't forget. So you're going to have limited CCTV camera systems working anymore. And as an ex-security systems uh, provider and consultant, I can tell you now, even alarm system panels and things are only good for about six or seven hours usually as a battery backup unless you've done any modifications like I used to. But typically, you've got like less than eight hours of battery backup for um, a home security, office security system. So you've got localized looting will start happening reasonably quick because their alarm systems aren't going to work. Uh, because the CCT cam cameras aren't going to be working and you see it happen everywhere every time. Uh, and your emergency backups are already starting to fail. Like I say, your emergency lighting systems, the batteries in those would have started failing, uh, and so on. Here we go then, day three. <laughs> day three. Things are starting to feel real. Things are starting to feel real. Yes, indeed. Government radio broadcasts, right? We're going to start getting that. So those that have managed to keep their radios going, um, you can use even just a Beofeng ham radio is quite good as a radio if you've got the right antenna for it. Um, so they'll start their government radio broadcast. So you'll, that'll be the end of typical n n local radio programming. So if you... And it will be people sitting in their cars. You know, you should have a dank tank of fuel in your you know tank of gas in your car so you should at least be able to keep your car running with your radio on in your car so you still have worst case scenario you're gonna have access to a radio the government knows that right fema knows that and stuff like that so they rely on the fact that they just assume people are going to have um you know some form of radio um in nothing else but their car if anything else right so there will be government radio broadcasts Frozen food starts thawing already on day three now. So if you, this is where you're going to start smelling a lot of people around you doing their barbecues, right? And cooking up their meat out of their freezer to use it. So day three is going to be full of people barbecuing all their meat out of the freezer. Maybe even day two as well, right? So it's not like all your food in the freezer is going to be useless, but yeah. Unless you've got an off-grid system, like a solar power off-grid system, like we talked about last week. So check out that show. The link is in the description to watch that after you've watched this one. Uh, episode one, which is the advanced principles of prepping. But I look at the, you know, one month, one week, six month, one year versions of prepping scenarios, right? And we look at things like prepper profiles, the kitchen queen, the hunter, the commando, the gadget geek, right? Go and check it out. It's great. Um, it covers a lot of stuff. See which one you are. <laughs> 
So yeah, my mobile devices are pretty much dead. So even if you take the precautions as I laid out in this slide here, talking about turning off your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, your cell data, your GPS within your uh, smart devices, you're still going to find you're going to get to day three. And particularly a lot of people that were served, I've surveyed in the West, about 9% of people have an actual, has a, have a flashlight. 9% of homes have a flashlight. Everybody else only has their smart device torch so their their iphone or their smart device yeah the torch that comes on it that's literally all they've got and only nine eight to nine percent of homes have a flashlight a torch can you imagine that right so mobile devices are definitely dead because people have been using the torch on it probably all night as well because if you've ever seen a blackout scenario that's a national one like i've been in it is so pitch black, it's not even funny because there's no ambient, there's no ambient light lighting up the under clouds, uh, which can, you know, give a little bit of ambient light, like moonlight type stuff. There's none of that. So ankle bracelets are flying, right? So don't forget all of these, uh, all of these gnarly criminals that have got their ankle bracelets because they're on whatever it's called where you're not allowed to leave your house. Let me know in the chat what it's called. But it's the thing where, you, where you, you're you not allowed to leave your house. Curfew, is it? I think they call it curfew in the UK. But yeah, the ankle bracelets of the criminals, right? Those batteries are going to be run out by about day three, right? So they're going to be offline. So now the criminals are going to be thinking that it's like a free reign. Business as usual. Business as usual on steroids because no CCTV, no ankle bracelets, <laughs> no police rocking about because they're too busy doing other stuff no one can call the cops because the phone systems are down the mobile cell towers are down so no one can even call for help and report you yeah believe me this is why things get gnarly quickly because people start to realize that it's open season for them cheers so here we go then so the cell towers are now offline completely so no one's calling anyone it's just there's a bit in the episode one that talks about like Mrs. Uh, well, who's it? Not Mrs. Anyway, it's a kitchen queen who's basically a prepper that's only got food and hasn't got any protection. Then you've got someone like the commando, right? Who's got all the gear, like all the weapons and stuff and just goes out robbing everyone else, right? So you don't want to be coming up against those people. So cars are going to be stranded. There's not going to be any fuel to be get, got from any gas stations. So unless you've got some jerry cans in the garage or whatever your fuel backup um, technique is going to be, you'll need to figure that out. And of course, people getting needed for food already because this is day three. So if people didn't have any supplies in their cupboards, as some people don't, there's so many people still who buy their food on the way home each day from work. So they're not going to be having house arrest, is it, Urban? <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Ah, uh, Community barbecue, says Sandy. That's a good idea, isn't it? To have a massive community barbecue fry up with your thawing out meat from your freezer. Um, so, yeah, we've got uh, cars stranded. So the roads are going to be gnarly. People getting needed for food and water because it's day, you know, it's day three. And it only takes you to miss three meals before anarchy. What is it? Yeah, we're only three meals between modern day society and outright anarchy. However that quote goes. They've definitely missed three meals by now, haven't they? Let's face it. Yeah. And then, of course, you've got limited nighttime rioting. So there'll be some sort of a few bits of rioting going on around. We need you to do something. We want the power turned back on. Blah, blah, blah. Right. You know how it goes. So you'll have that starting to ramp up a bit more. Day four then. Stress and unrest increasing. Ba-ba-ba. Ba, ba. 